It may have taken some time, but the LEGO Harry Potter series finally comes to a close on the iOS platform with the release of years 5 to 7. The first release managed to do a neat job of packaging the handheld version for a touch interface, but it seems to struggle at times with the somewhat more complex sequel, bringing things down a notch. Most notably, Years 5-7 to covers the rather action-packed period of the Harry Potter novels, which means plenty of wave-wanding and spell-slinging. Much like the previous release, and the LEGO titles in general, the basic gameplay revolves around your natural curiosity, interacting with every object you come across to solve puzzles, collect LEGO pieces, and defeat the occasional enemy. This is where things get a little sticky, as switching between various spells isn't always an easy task when faced with multiple enemies. Thankfully, the dueling system is somewhat more reliable, though this is due to its simplicity more than anything else. Speaking of dueling, players can purchase an additional mode that allows them to duke it out against other characters from the Harry Potter world. It's an odd inclusion to leave out of the game, but for those looking to test their reflexes, it provides a decent distraction. More than anything else, Years 5 to 7 is carried upon the shoulders of the well-established LEGO gaming formula to keep you coming back for more. Levels taunt you with tantalizing secrets placed just out of reach until later on, and if you're a fan of the first game, you'll find this one just as amusing in its depiction of the novels. LEGO Harry Potter Years 5 to 7 is more of the same, but the change of pace gives the game more immediacy than its first title, making up for the occasionally quirky controls. Worth grabbing if you couldn't get more of Years 1 to 4. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.